And new tonight, a local park is shut down after officials say it has become a hotbed of illegal activity. Now work is underway to revitalize the area, but some of the community are questioning why it's taken so long. News 12's Kevin VC joins us live in Brentwood where that park is still closed tonight. Kevin. Yeah, Mackenzie, that park is closed tonight and it will likely remain closed for quite a while. So there was a ceremonial groundbreaking today, but the actual work still has not gotten underway. In fact, you can see this sign right here from the town of Islip asking residents to be patient while they renovate the park. But for some, that patience is wearing thin. I don't like it closed. Lifelong Brentwood resident Andrea Moore says Ross Memorial Park has been shut down long enough. The green space was closed back in September of 2020, shortly after this incident was caught on camera when two police officers were injured. In April of last year, community leaders urged the town of Islip to open it back up. But right now, the park is still fenced in. They need to, to open it back up, especially for the kids, you know, have kids, you know, somewhere for the kids to go, you know, after school or whatever, they could go up there and have fun. Today, work began towards that goal after the town secured $655,000 in state funds. The park will get a new playground, a pavilion, and a dedicated parking lot. Supervisor Angie Carpenter says the delay happened because of COVID and to make sure the space would be safe. You can't close the park for a week. You can't close it for a month and expect that all of that activity is going to go away permanently. It was impossible to maintain safety in this facility. Uh, it literally was an open-air drug market. When the park does open back up, new surveillance cameras will be operating and the town will ask police to patrol more often. Officials also want Suffolk County to remove most of these nearby bus shelters, which they say attract illegal activity. Andrea, meanwhile, is counting the days until these fences can finally come down. Will you visit once the parks reopen? Yes. I have my grandchildren. I will bring them there. And right now it's not clear exactly when the park will reopen, though the town supervisor says it likely won't happen until at least spring of next year. Meanwhile, we reached out to Suffolk County about those bus shelters. So far, they have not responded with a comment. Mackenzie.